Yo, another video. Parenthood. Slash. Legal age, what people consider and don't. Yeah, this corresponded with my other video that deal with marriage and all that stuff. This is solely about parenthood and what legal age to adult. That's everywhere on the world. No, I am not a parent. At least I don't know if I'm a parent. Then, heck, I'm still a virgin. I don't know. Some party got me while I was sleeping. I don't know. Whatever. Mm. I have raised people kids when they are not there. Heck, people in the past used to leave their kids with me because they were too lazy enough to do it themselves and they go out party already. But I'm that as a type of group of fourth group of people where I know that I deal with my babysitting because I know that person well enough. Don't worry, if you're any other of those three groups that I am not watching your kids at any cost. Anyway, back on to parenthood. If you are to have kids at any time throughout your life and you are not planning for it, if you do anything that consider a child might be happening, you are already giving your consent for you have planned for it. If you do not want a child, then do not do anything that will make a child. Parenthood. Not that difficult, people. Come on. Who does that? I'm not saying who does that because I know who does that. I'm saying who does that because I want y'all to list who does that. Anyway, if you're 16 and you're having sex and you're going to have a child, then you should be prepared for it. Like most people say in my other video, adults. Some places you consider your daughter 16, 17, 15, but yet the country government allows you to marry on the age with parent consent, and you should be able to have a child. Remember, if this is of your own free will, then you should be able to have a child. But yet, some people are going to jail because they have an underage sex. How is that even possible? I'm not going to ask how it's possible because I know it's how it's possible. The stupidity of words. Yeah, don't forget. But some people say this person is an adult, this person say this person is an adult, and this person get trialed as an adult, and these are two different people, but they're the same things, the same situation, it's in the same state, and some stuff get out of it. Something is wrong with you guys. I say, when I say guys, I mean male, females, people in general. I try not to say guys as I am now, because mostly it's the environment I'm at now that says guys. I can't say anything else about those guys because they probably would not understand it. But don't worry. I'm breaking out this when I go somewhere else. D don't worry. Anyway, back to the situation at hand. Parenthood. If you don't plan for kids, then don't play, don't have kids. Not that difficult. Don't do anything that will lead to kids. Don't adopt kids. Don't take care of somewhere else kids. Don't do anything that will lead you to getting kids. No, I'm hearing people say I'm wasting my breath. How? What are you going to do? Suck my YouTube channel down? I'll make another email. No, that's a whole different channel. Anyway, that's whole different words. Anyway, parenthood. How? Possible? Why? If. When you plan for parenthood, then. You know of the minimum. The maximum requirements, blah blah blah. So I'm gonna make another video about trials and different trials and then equal opportunity. I close with this parenthood. You have people borrowing money and people are not. But it's something else. If you have ch children, then you should know that nothing is 99.99% correct without that 0.01% of screwing up. Anyway. If you know your child is bad, then do something about your child being bad. But make sure it's something that child. I wouldn't say agree with, but understand. If I have kids, I would show them every option out there in an entirety of existence. Let them choose what they want. I would raise them in that category to their fullest of limit. If it's something that I personally do not agree, but like five years old, I'm not concerned because a five year old don't know. More than a box of rocks. If that five years old gym still don't know more than a box of rocks. I don't care till you turn the age of 10 when you should be able, by my standards, be able to fix a car from scratch. That's just me, but you're still not an adult by my book, so I'm going to raise you by that way. Male or female. That's right, people. Most of you don't do, but I treat both genders equally. That mean I will punch both of you in the face equally. I will pay you equally.
I raise you equally, but that's another video. Anyway, 10 year old children, blah, 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 going up. If my child want to be this when they grow up, then I will raise them in that category. My child come ask me, is this history real? If it's not, I'm going to say, no, it's not. You can go to school, get it up by my book, and you pass. Heck, you can fill every class to the age of 18. So, by me, graduating from high school is not a necessary requirement. That's right, I said it, people. You know how some states say you're not, like some states say you're not allowed to drop out of school because it's illegal, but yet other states say you do. And in that same state, people do it anyway and get away with it when they go to court. I don't know how that works, but you know, that's another video. Anyway, I will raise my children to the fullest of their capability. And since I don't really know until I'm like I in that position, I would make sure they know they can go further beyond blah 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 multiple options. But I will always say for every action there's a consequence where it's right or wrong. Basically what I mean, you can help somebody out. That does not mean the person that you helped out won't come back and bite you in the butt. You can take these people out does this. That does not mean you won't get caught and get in trouble for it. It's not that difficult to raise your kids, people. Disciplining. Now let's go with disciplining. How, why, I, who does that? Like, who does that? How is that possible? People say talking to your kids is the only way to get them to know what's right and wrong. Ha. Ha. Like I said in my other video, if you say that and it works for your kids, but it does not work for somebody because then you don't have the authority to try to change that law to make it where everybody cares is like that. Have fun. I wish you would have raised me and think talking to me would have done anything. I would have purposely done it so you can be screwed over. That's right. I am that type of person. No, if people think I am like my parents or not like my parents, no, I ain't like me, period. No, I said influence don't, don't really fit me. I, like, I allowed it to. That's so true. You can be doing the right thing. I could be doing the wrong thing. I don't care. You can be doing the wrong thing. I could be doing the right thing, and I don't care. I have my own standard way thing that's way different from my parents. That's right, people. Way different. I have a way of doing things that's way different from anybody else. I expect my children to be the same way. You know why? Because I was the same way. If my child did something wrong that I agree with, they agree with, I would not care how the world agrees with it, how it agrees with it right now. Hey, they can be gay, homo, lesbian, with all they want. Do you think it's right or wrong? What do you think? How do you feel? Now, I give you what my thoughts are, and I give you what the world does. I show you the other unlimited amount of options out there. How do you do? Yeah, you like this relation. I support you all the way if I'm in the mood to agree with that. But like I said, mother, I don't really don't care if you're gay or lesbian. As long as you don't come on to me or don't try to prohibit me from making money, like stop me from eating food, who does that? Like, I don't even care if you do that. I'm going to say no one time. If you do it again, then you're going to get legally told not to get it away from me. That's that difficult, people. If the world said, no, you can't do that, it's blah, blah, blah. I'm going to tell you, tell the world to screw off. Welcome to U.S. Well, everything's everything possible, but don't worry about the contradiction because I'm going to make you smart, strong enough to be on my level. I can be 16, you can be 20, but you will never catch up to my level because I am not the person who stopped improving or growing or advancing. I'm like an endocrine. The only difference is that I am not planning on dying in time soon. I will keep growing forever. Anyway, try to catch up to me. Not that difficult. This is how you should be. This is how I believe you should raise your kids. If you in a Spartan society, you better make sure you agree with that society before you have kids and raise your kids that way. But no, people only give kids a limited amount of options and show them what they can do. Not even what they can do. Them, just show this and this and don't even explain it where, they, where you believe it's true to yourself. Not just believing to the truth with anybody else out there. And then you try to make them understand that. It's like saying 5 plus 5 is 10. But not tell them how 5 plus 5 is 10. 
as the wearer believe five plus five is a thousand. You're not telling them anyway. Even if the wearer believe five plus five was ten, you're not telling him. You just say that's just the way it is. Who does that? It's like saying if you get shot by a bullet, you're gonna die automatic. Give up. Really? Get shot by a bullet, you're gonna die automatic. Give up. Who does that stuff? But at least say if you get shot in the head, you're going to die on But guess what? Not everybody died from a bullet getting shot in the head. That's right. The bullet can go through your skin, go through your skull, somehow work its way through your brain, go out the back of your skull, and you're still not dead. That's right. Still not dead. Don't have kids if you're not prepared for it. This course I remember over here in Daughter Marriage, Adulthood. If you think they're dope, the law is the thing to do. Why do you treat them like that, though? Why don't you educate them like an adult? Still treat them like kids. You still try and make laws that go around this way like kids. There's a law called anticipation. Like I said, I'm not a legal lawyer. Blah, blah, blah. Look it up. Anticipation win is, from what I know, that's right, people. This one where I experienced myself, and I've seen other people do it. Anticipation is when you legally move out to your parent house. Under the age of 18, 17, most likely 16, 15, 14 area, when you move out of your parents' house and your family house and you are considered illegal, you must work, you must get a job, you must, you know, live like an adult. But guess what? This law says you still must go to school, you must still attend meetings, and you can't live far away from your parents. And then other stuff about it is like, was it your parents half day paycheck goes to where you live at? Blah 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 blah. But some situation is different. Like how is that different? It's the same thing. But you consider these people adults and not give them that adult freaking range. Come on, people, don't do it. then if you're not going to consider fully, but half hearted, it's like baking a cake. This is, is a chocolate cake. You could call it as a chocolate cake. You treat it like a chocolate cake. You still the product of a chocolate cake and then come out as an actually freaking banana. This is exactly what I see you guys doing. It's not that difficult. Adulthood, parenthood. If you guys say talking to people solves all problems, then talking to your kids solves all problems. Talking to kids solves all problems. Then you... Should not be beating that kids up because it may be not your kid. It's still a kid, and you say talk to all kids like it's to solve problems because that kid do a freaking brick through your window. I said things soon, blah blah blah, ha ha ha, ha ha ha. Not only at that, you was in the right, and that kid getting trial as an adult, but you say it was a kid, and that kid who never got the same. Agreement to be in that same lifestyle experience of an adult. Who does that? It's like people who are on the age of 18 to 21 getting trial as an adult. How? How? Why? Why? I'm not saying I don't believe. Actually, I say this. Anyone who know adult stuff and does adult stuff, does adult stuff should be trialed as an adult based on the agreement of being an adult. Everything that goes with it. But instead, you guys treat everyone on the age of 18 that they're selling stuff like an adult. Trial wise. How? Why? Why? And then not only that, you can be in the same state, same country, same area, and this person get trialed by adult for doing this crime. The excuses or reasons are this. And this person get trialed as an adult for crimes under the age of adult. For reason or this, but this person get away scot free and this person don't. How? Who does that? If you're gonna trial someone as an adult, then they still get the same privilege as an adult. Not that difficult, people. It's not that difficult, people. If I had a child and my child was talking back to me like I'm an adult, I'm a grown up, I'm gonna show that child all these options. I'm gonna show what you think of this adult, and then I'm gonna. Show you the options. If you wanted to be an adult, fine. Be an adult. Get out of my house. Don't come back. I'm like, do you show you believe you're an adult? Okay, then let's not hear this conversation again till you actually believe that. 
not that difficult, people. And I'm like, do get out your house. I didn't say never come back. I'm just saying. Trust me, if I say that, they won't be coming back. If they did, I don't care. But if they get out of my house and they get out of my house, I'm going to give about four or five weekdays. They come back mad, sobbing, whatever. But like I said, the difference between me doing it and you guys are doing that is because I'm giving them all the options of every option that I'm raising to the fullest of the limits. I'm not telling them they can't do this when they can do it. I'm not trying to restrain them. I am not trying to say they can't do this and tell them they're stupid when they are actually smart. Heck, even they are unintelligent, I'm saying, walk your way down. Some of you PR people don't even do that when kids try to get a job. Some of you parents out there say, no, you don't need a job. You know dang well they need a job, and yet you always trying to avoid. Come on, people. Who does that? No, this not just apply to everybody. This applies to some people. There some stuff I said in earlier parts of the video applies to everybody and some and don't because everybody is different. This is just the worst case scenario. There are parents who are out there who give their kids everything and everything. Guess what? These kids are bad. They grow up to be worst of the worst trash of society. People raping, killing and stuff. You got the parents that A, help them kids. You got B, all the other parents who don't care. You're not the parents that actually get in. If you parents that help those kids, but you believe it's wrong, and you're still helping them, then you are a bad parent. You should be also court and charged because of that child, but that's just me. If you're parents that actually care, then you will report that parent, report that child anyway, but you don't do that anyway because you care. If you're the third group of parents that actually get in, then... You were off that child before anybody else does. Like saying, this is my bloodline. I should be the one to take care of this. Give me the gun. Remember, everything is you should be agreeing. Everything that child should agree on. You come to a mutual understanding. Remember, if you don't consider that child coming close to her or an adult, then you should not be saying agreed on with everything without showing all the unlimited possibilities. Parenthood and adulthood, people. Not that difficult to understand. Don't forget, make sure you have the money to afford it. If you make a mistake like having a kid, you should be done pair before you've done something that did the job, like adopting or stuff. And you should get in a situation where you can get in that situation to get a better lifestyle. Parenthood and adulthood. Not that difficult, people. That's right. Not that difficult. Back and right, I said again. If I have kids, I know the people the situation. You are not coming near my kids at all. I'm not the one to care about you coming to my kids. My kids don't have to go to school because I can get a teaching degree and teach my kids. Of course, like I said earlier, I'm going to teach them the unlimited possibility. Has you want to go party, go party. But like I said in my other video, that does not don't complain when I stalk you when you're around those other kids. Because I told you. This is not the group that that benefits towards you, towards a better future on what you want. And if you get in trouble, don't blame me. If you cannot be saved. You've been warned. You've been told. You've been disciplined. Now it's up to you. Have fun. Not that difficult, people. My kids going to be taught. No, that's right, people. If my kids don't come out anyway, like they die at birth, but still want to stop me. They come out top notch. They're going to be top notch. I'm going to make sure they show, show, seen, and heard everything that I can offer, can give, and show. And I'm still going to say there's still more out there. There's no, there is a such thing as zero, but there's no such thing as 100 because the numbers just keep growing. Not that difficult. Parenthood adulthood people. Go for it.